And it is a warm and muggy morning. We do have some clouds starting to develop across the area, and that's what we're going to be dealing with today. Going to be hot too. High temperatures getting into the upper 80s to lower 90s. Heat index values, though, are going to be in the mid to upper 90s. So be careful if you've got to be outside. Notice there is a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms as well. So if you've got plans outside, Make sure you can get your stuff inside very quickly. Let's say you're out in the backyard barbecuing or something like that. Temperatures currently in the lower to mid 80s, even some upper 70s up in Macomb. But look at our heat index, feeling like 90 degrees already in the airport, 89 at the lakefront, 89 at Bell Chase, and 89 over in Gulfport as well. So that's only going to go up as the humidity continues to run very, very high. No rainfall on the radar at the moment. I do think we'll start to see a few showers pop up as we go into this afternoon, very similar to what we saw yesterday. So our by hour showing just a few of those downpours today, very isolated. Not everyone's going to see rainfall, certainly not a washout today, but it is going to be hot and humid tonight looking mainly dry. And then tomorrow, I think we'll see a little bit more uh, activity with regards to those pop-up showers and storms during the afternoon. Notice models showing some showers and storms developing between three and five o'clock. That'll be our main time frame, And then a lot of that should dwindle down as we go closer to sun set and we lose that daytime heating. Now our rain chances are going to remain fairly low this weekend, but they will go up Monday and really Tuesday and Wednesday look like our main days to see potentially some heavy rainfall across the area. And we are talking about maybe some localized flash flooding depending on where the heaviest rain does fall. Here's our setup and here's why we're maybe concerned with some of that heavier rainfall as we go into next week. We've got two features that are going to be pumping that deep tropical moisture into southeast Louisiana. An upper level low moving into Texas and an upper level high off towards the east. That means southerly flow on both directions. That deep tropical moisture coming out of the Caribbean will arrive here by Monday and Tuesday. And that means we're going to have plenty of moisture to work with in the atmosphere possibly dealing with some of those uh, higher rain totals. It looks like the most widespread heavy rain will be in Texas, but we'll likely see some of those thunderstorms that are moving from south to north. And if it can move over the same area, we'll likely see some of that localized flooding. So that's just something we'll have to watch. And at this point, it's impossible to say where that'll happen, but it is something we'll be paying attention to as we go into really, I think, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Your Memorial Day weekend, though, summer-like. It'll be hot. It'll be humid. Rain chances increasing on Memorial Day, staying elevated through much of next week as that upper level low stalls out in Texas. But with the cloud cover and rainfall, we'll see the temperatures dipping back down, dipping back down into the mid 80s.